Wild Rose Heritage and Arts has collected oral histories for the last eight years. Our aim is to promote an understanding of the contribution that diversity and change make towards heritage and community. Now we want to extend our work by involving more people in the collecting process. We will look at exploring new areas, family histories and expanding our themes of diversity and change. Our track record and experience has shown that through intergenerational work a sense of belonging for both young and old is enhanced. Here are some short examples of past work. Primary pupils question the older generation. Did you did your dad ever slaughter animals? Poultry, yeah, pull the necks. <laughs> you should be careful when you pull the head off. <laughs> and then you and then you pluck them, you see, and take the guts out and then you eat it. So you had cows, ho horses. One horse. One horse. Like cows. A bull and a dog. And young musicians ask older musicians about their lives. Despite the ups and downs you had with mm -mm. Tears Tears for first time round, um, back in 2000 you were later come to rejoin them. Yeah. How did that come about and how did it compare to playing and recording with them for first time round? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think we mentioned earlier on about the importance of the kind of personal dynamic in any band. And the, the important personal dynamic in CST was between me and, and the singer Mark. Next, high school students, using our interview transcripts, produce an exam performance. For every son without a father. For every father without a son. For every uncle without a niece. Without... <coughs> An uncle. You see, the more and more you try and care, the more you find yourself forgetting. A young skateboarder talks about his views. And are there any rules or conventions in skateboarding um, that you're aware of? The, there's the uh, like manners, which so you like take it in turns and let other people go and stuff like that. Don't be greedy with it, and like don't. If you have a run on the park, you don't take like ages with it. On our guided walk, a mixture of industrial and oral history combine to show how the environment has changed. Here, our storyteller retells life experiences to primary school children. Now, at that time, my father had a green grocery shop down on Bridge Lanes. Now, do you know what green grocery shop is? Yes. They sell like They do. All sorts of vegetables, anything you need like that. Now, he was called Bob Hayes, so the shop was just called Bob Hayes Shop. Now, Bridge Lanes is that bit of Hebden Bridge that comes up uh, next to the bottom of Hebden Store Road. So on Main Road, coming back into Hebden Bridge, that's Bridge Lanes. So we, our shop was down there. And of course, we didn't have cars or anything like that. So how could he get the vegetables out to the people? He had, he had a little horse and cart. A member of the older generation talks about family business beginnings. All I can say is the reason we started up in it, because my grandfather and uncle were, worked in the weaving sheds and they went on strike and this strike lasted two years. Right. And... Uh, was that at Knock Clough? Or was it at uh, Eves? It, it was Hebden Bridge, I, I'm not sure. Right. That's where it started, May Ride. That's where we started. He started in his house in his backyard right. with six or eight orange boxes. That's how we started. But um, then he, uh, as far as I know, they just 
it, it was making more money out of selling these half a dozen chickens here and yeah. there than they did do working, so they never went back to work and that's yeah. just how it started. I see, I see. Wild Rose Heritage and Arts is also a part of the bigger picture. Our connections to the Oral History Society, Hebden Roy Town Council, Pennine Horizons, the proposed Heritage Centre, Calderdale Council and other local groups shows our work has strategic value. What we do is not only important for the individuals who participate, but it will be a valuable resource for present and future generations. And then, uh, you know, a banter developed between the two generations. And these people from Surrey or somewhere were absolutely amazed. How do you know their children? Or how do you know, no, not the first of all, they said, how do you know all your friends' children so well? And, and how do your friends know all your friends' children so well? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I said, you know, you know those two, they're mine, but he's from them and, and, and she's from over here and, <coughs> and, and that one's a second cousin of so-and-so and they said, <laughs> And it's a kind of nice tribalism, yeah. not without its spats, yeah. but um, it's good and it's disappearing. And so it's great that you're actually kind of what you're doing is extremely valuable. Right, okay, well thank you for that. Mm. I think it's been a very good project this morning uh, and I think it's important for the children to know what it was like in the past and it's been interesting for me to tell them and to hear what they have to say about their lives. With your help, we can continue to involve people of all ages and backgrounds and create a legacy worthy of our forebears.